up guys? I'm Captain Kin, and today we're gonna do a little fillet tutorial for you with our new Angler Outdoor Fillet Table. How awesome is this? First, we're gonna scale the fish, just like so. Now we're gonna rinse the scales off the fish. Gotta be sure we got the scales off. Looks like I got a few more here I gotta do. All right, so you wanna make sure you try and get all the scales off before you fillet it. That way, well first, your knife will poke through a lot easier. Second, you don't wanna have any scales in your, in your meat for later, you know? You want some nice, clean fillets. All right, that looks pretty good. right behind the collar, all the way down towards the belly. Then we're gonna start from the tail, place hair knife against the spine, coming all the way to the front, back up to the collar. All right, now once we make that first cut, we're gonna go back in, put our knife right along the bone, and slide it forward, just to make sure we got it, all right? Now we're gonna flip the fish over, start from the head, Get a nice little cut in there and work our way all the way down to the tail. Make sure you're riding along that spine, okay? We're going to come back up, put the knife right along the spine, come back down. Beautiful, just like that. Make a nice little incision just like that. Lift up the meat so we can get the knife right under. Nice and clean, just like so. Hold the skin down, apply pressure with the knife towards the spine and slide our knife forward towards the head, just like that. All right, check it out. Nice, clean fillet, look at that. No meat on the bone at all. God, I love this new table, it's awesome, ain't it? Keeps it nice and clean. I don't know about you, but when I fillet fish, I like to keep it clean, as clean as possible. So, again, we're gonna go from the belly, right up to the tail. Right along the spine, come back, right along the bone, make sure we got it. Then we're going to get from the tail, make the knife again to you there, right the spine all the way back up to the head. Come back, place our knife right along the bone, come right back up. All right, lift up to get a good pinch here so we can get under the meat. Get the blade just underneath, make sure we ride along the spine. Now it's important that you hold the fish down. So that way it doesn't lift up any meat, all right? Here we go. Just like that. Come straight up. Voila. There you have it, y'all. Two beautiful rainbow runner fillets. You want to make sure your, your surface is nice and dry, okay? You don't want the tap water to cook the fish now. All right, so generally with this type of fish we keep the skin on when we cook it you know we pan fry it we bake it we barbecue it we make fish soup out of it sometimes but my wife and my kids they love eating this kind of fish raw also sashimi style so i'm gonna go ahead and fillet this right off the skin so that when i get home it's ready for them all right check it out All right, so we just cut the fish in half so it's the size of the blade. It makes it a lot easier to cut right through the skin, okay? All right, y'all, so now we're gonna get real close to this bloodline here. Push our knife down, just like so. I'm gonna turn it at a 45 degree angle and push straight out, just like that. Right along the skin, check it out. Beautiful fish, just like that. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Right here, right along the bloodline, down towards the skin. Get our knife turned, push straight out. It will help absorb the blood. So when you get home, the fish won't be just soaking in blood. The paper towel will absorb the blood 
and you can just take out your fish nice and clean and ready to eat, all right? Just like so. Check it out. If you like this video, please smash that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Catch you on the next one. You know what time it is.